Hey guys, it's the Faceless Beanie and in this video, I'll be quickly going over what in my opinion is the strongest pet from Deimos, the Panzer Wolpophila. Let's get right into it. To obtain the Panzer Wolpophila like any other pet in Deimos, you need to capture it out in the Cambian Drift. It's a rare species, so use the Wolpophila lure and pheromone to attract it. Ensure it is attacked by infested before capturing it to weaken it. Only weakened creatures can be turned into pets. Once you've done that, get back to Sun in the Necrolisk and you'll need to combine the weakened capture with antigens and mutagens. Antigens will impact the innate polarities that come with your pet, ultimately almost none of these are useless. For mutagens, they each offer different types of resistances but the differences are negligible so just choose whichever you want as a cosmetic. Then like Moas, level up your pet and guild it to start forming. What's special about Wolpophilas is that they just don't die. Wolpophilas have devolution precepts. These precepts ensure that when they are killed, they immediately turn in into larvae that float next to you for 30 seconds before reviving automatically to their true form. In this larva form, they retain their fetch ability. The Panzer specific precept makes it just that much better. Viral quills cause the Panzer to launch quills at enemies, dealing viral damage and importantly a 40% chance for a viral status proc. If it hits a target that already has a viral status proc on it, it'll add a spore to that target. This is great to combine with slash based weapons or weapons with hunter munitions and heat, since with Panzer almost every enemy in the room with you will have a viral proc on them. When it dies, it turns into larva and launches quills dealing 60 viral damage each to enemies and after 30 seconds, it revives itself automatically. This 3 forma build emphasizes the synergy of the spores with healing capabilities. The basics, link armor, link health for survivability, animal instinct for your radar, fetch since it will constantly be active as this pet never dies, then the 2 synergy mods. Synth Deconstruct provides a chance at health orbs dropping from enemies damaged by the Volpa Phyla and Hunter Recovery heals your Warframe for a percentage of damage dealt by the Volpa Phyla. This includes every single enemy with a viral proc on it. For the two flex slots, I've gone with Maul for Hunter Recovery Synergy and Synth Fiber for Synth Deconstruct Synergy. These can be replaced with Bite, Pack Leader and Link Shields. It's up to you. If you don't need healing, equip Equilibrium on your Warframe to turn all those health orbs that Synth Deconstruct drops to energy. Essentially, this pet gives you infinite healing and fetch anywhere including the Steel Path. The addition of Viral Procs ensures that it's also a viable companion to assist you in dealing damage. This is the ideal companion for longer missions where most companions would just never survive long enough. With that, I hope this helped you out. This is the Faceless Beanie, signing out.